okay guys so look here so last class we discuss obstruction you all are know guys what is obstruction i already told so we can say so obstruction is one of the oops principle okay the process of hiding implementation data okay from user user only see its highlight functionality i already gave its example like what like your operation okay like r multiple and division like your operation so when you click when user will click only the bottom will click but it implementation logic user will not click okay user will not see okay no worry so its advantage is attacker will not attack easily because why attacker will not attack easily because everything we are hiding okay everything we are hiding so that's why attacker will not easy uh, attack easily and it will be giving security benefit right guys so it will giving security benefit also then one more is enhancement okay enhancement it will giving also an enhancement profit enhancement profit means guys so let's one code is currently written in c c language okay that's not issue okay in c language but somewhere after some time okay if somebody really don't want to this code writing on c language he want to migrate it in java or python or dot net it can be migrate but these things user will not see okay so then how to achieve obstruction guys so somebody ping here so what is the disadvantage okay so guys so disadvantage is many thing because what is the disadvantage disadvantage is under obstruction okay under obstruction we will not create object okay because obstruction class not allowing create object that is we can say disadvantage and disadvantage it is a bit slow guys it is bit bit slow process okay so we can say that is our disadvantage also okay so then guys remember so how to achieve obstruction okay to achieve obstruction we are using two way one is obstruct class another is interface so guys so i already told what is obstruct class its definition also i provide so what is obstruct class it means the class which is created by using obstruct keyword is called obstruct class perfect guys so then so obstruct class which type of variable allow obstruct class variable allow static non static final non final every variable guys allow then it's allowed to create constructor also but it's not allowed to create object so guys remember one thing so just tell me if we are creating constructor okay but if you are not creating object so what is the meaning okay what is the benefit okay actually guys remember so when we discuss that instance member in that time why we are creating constructor to initializing object right but uh, here we are obstruct class we are not creating object okay but what is the purpose of creating constructor are you thinking or not guys okay remember guys this constructor we are creating only super class member initializing purpose okay only super class member initializing purpose this constructor is creating this is the way of design little bit separate so i will telling no worry for that okay then one more point i discuss it allow both obstruct and non obstruct method and obstruct class not allow multiple inheritance okay guys so whatever point i explain here okay about obstruct class whatever point i explain here let me represent it by programmatically okay so let me check if all the test cases all the point are exactly true 
or anything false is there uh, guys okay if i prove these things if i prove this uh, this point one by one then in that time you think yeah that point is good so that is exactly correct point okay so guys so let's prove this point whatever point i'm writing here let's i need to prove here then after obstruct we need to no, discuss interface so obstruct class think this much is theory is there so every theory every test cases now i will represent in programmatically okay let me open id okay 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 guys so my id is ready so let me create one project and then there we need to implement abstract class okay so let's create it so let's class package so i create my project name as a obstruction okay Okay guys, so I create my project name as a obstruction. So my obstruction project is ready. Let me create. Okay, let me create here package. Okay. Okay guys, so my package is currently ready. Okay, so let me create one obstruct class, guys. You know, so I told you when its definition I explain. So obstruct class means what? A class by creating by using obstruct keyword. Okay, guys. So it means the class B four. Okay, like I'll B four. It's giving example. I'm telling look like this so look b4 class okay b4 class look here so the class which is creating by using obstruct keyword is called obstruct class it means what so we need to create like this class public okay then obstruct okay public obstruct okay sorry public obstruct then we need to using class then after that we need to using class name as a what is class name as a we need to use test okay yes or no we need to using like this it is the example okay so based on our first point remember guys based on our first point is it same or not is it true or not it means the class which created by using obstruct keyword is called obstruct class okay that's good then guys let's proceed okay so let's i'm creating so just right click here new and class okay here i am giving my class name as a test okay okay then look here in below in below one checkbox is there okay in below public look in below public one checkbox is there that is obstruct yes or no so look you should mark this checkbox here okay look my cursor guys you should mark this checkbox box here currently i uncheck this one if i check this one then it will be put a b for class okay so let's guys so 
I finish it. Look guys. Previous previous thing. Previous thing as it is or not. Yes or no? Whatever things I am telling here, whatever things I am wrote here in example, as it is or not. Okay? Let me create. So it allow both static, non-static, final, non-final variable. Let me create one by one. Okay, guys. So just understand. Okay. So this is abstract class. Okay, abstract class allow both static, non-static, every variable is allow. Let me create one by one. So public static int public static int a. Okay, one variable I define. It's allow not having any issue. Then one more guys. Uh, that is final. Okay, public static okay only final okay not static okay public final string final variable means guys what you should be initialized okay yes or no look if i putting like this it's it's telling what the blank final field may not have been initialized okay it means they are telling explicitly they are telling you should be assigning some value because final final means once created once assigned that variable cannot be modified okay guys remember these things i told also previous uh, like you overloading and overriding concept i told also about a uh, final class sorry about a uh, final variable okay final variable means guys once initialized you can't modify okay we uh, sorry you can't reassign not modify you can't reassign that value okay guys no worry for that so it means it's telling directly you should be initialized let's i'm initializing here string name okay guys so i'm initializing string string name anything so i'm initializing string name x y z okay so here what static variable allow final variable allow let's check non-static or non-final okay guys so i need to creating here like this okay public then uh, anything guys so i'm creating here in b okay public in b look guys if it is non-final variable so i initialize these things okay so first case first thing is what so first point is ready then second point is ready so second point what is this so if the test of the class allow both static non-static final non-final all the variable i declare guys is it okay or not yeah it's okay because abstract under abstract class i declare here all the variable okay second point is okay then third point guys third point what is that abstract class create object sorry no, not create object but create constructor okay guys so constructor what is the use of creating constructor constructor basically we need to uh, initializing the instance member the instance member initializing purpose we need to creating constructor okay so let me create constructor here so public okay public test i know you know guys so constructor so uh, every every time we need to putting its what its class name okay so then after that whatever instance variable are there okay same instance variable variable i copy there okay same instance variable i copy there and paste there okay so these things guys you know very well how to create constructors okay this dot b equal to b okay guys now ready constructor is ready then what is that then one more thing guys so what is that so abstract class allow both abstract method and non-abstract method okay guys so let's create abstract method means what so i already told abstract method means the method 
which does not okay which does not contain that implementation body guys when we discuss that inheritance concept in that time i already told how to declare that obstruct method let me create guys here one obstruct method okay public void m1 look guys if i designing previously what happened no previously we are designing like this obstruct class we are designing like this look it's giving issue sorry previously we are designing obstruct method like this yes or no when under interface guys when under interface we are designing like this obstruct method public void m1 is it okay but look in this case it's giving issue okay what is that the method acquire a body instead of semicolon it means it's not identified so under obstruct class how to define obstruct method we need to using one keyword that is guys obstruct keyword okay look if i designing like this if i using that obstruct class keyword if i designing that obstruct method then it's okay it's not having issue is it okay this is obstruct method guys it's allow then second case second case first case i'm writing here okay okay not okay second second third after case after this it's also allow non obstruct method okay guys non obstruct method means case what that is implementation method so let's guys i'm creating here one implementation method public okay void uh let's i'm creating implementation method name is m2 okay so implementation method means what implementation method means the method contain implemented body okay implemented body means guys open bracket and close bracket okay anything then you can uh, write here any logic as per your requirement you can write any logic but concept to purpose i'm telling okay oh what is that under we can pass it is it is obstruct obstruct implementation implementation method okay it is obstruct implementation method look as is it okay or not so as per our uh theory first point is ready okay first point is ready then second point is ready obstruct class allow both static non static final then uh, it's then one third point is ready it's creating constructor but it's not creating object so i will show you this point no worry okay then second point then after this point is both obstruct and non obstruct method allow then it's allow if we can also inherit it okay we can also inherit it but obstruct class doesn't allow multiple inheritance okay let's guess let's this many point i need to explain so let's whatever things i explain let's i need to access this thing okay so for that what we'll do so guys i need to create one more test classes okay one more main classes there i need to writing logic okay because why so i will show you there there oh, one more point is there no obstruct class we cannot create object so i will show you there also so just minute so just i creating here that is class so look guys i'm creating main class i'm writing in my class name is main okay so let's so one more point i already told obstruct class also inherited yes or no so by using extend qr okay by using extend qr we can write also obstruct class okay yes or no okay before uh, inheriting okay before inheriting let me check it's object creating or not okay it's object creating or not let me create guys it's object let me define here it's main method okay okay our main sorry so main method
ओके पब्लिक स्टैटिक वॉयर मेन ओके देन स्ट्रिंग एरे ओके स्ट्रिंग एरे सॉरी साफ लाइट ओके एरे आक्स ओके स्ट्रिंग एरे आक्स ओके देन आई एम राइटिंग हियर ओपन ब्रैकेट क्लोज ब्रैकेट स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर आई एन जी ओके ओके लेट्स गेट्स सो आवर क्लास इज करेंटली रेडी ओके लेट मी क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट सो प्रीवियस क्लास ओके प्रीवियस क्लास ऑफ स्टार्ट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट आई ट्राई टू क्रिएट हियर लेट मी चेक आई विल एबल टू क्रिएट और विल नॉट लुक इफ आई क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट डायरेक्टली ऑफ स्टार्ट क्लास सो आवर प्रीवियस ऑफ स्टार्ट क्लास नेम इज टेस्ट ओके सो टेस्ट टी इक्वल टू न्यू टेस्ट लुक फॉर आप Test T like this no like this we are creating object yes or no look what happen here cannot instance set the type test it means we cannot instance it okay guys it means we cannot create its object okay so because it is a abstract class so we can create so let me uh, one that point also prove here. ओके ओके गाइस सो लेट मी डू वन थिंग लेट मी आई इंप्लीमेंट हियर इनहेरिटेंस रिलेशन ओके इनहेरिटेंस रिलेशन मींस ऑफस्टार्ट क्लास इज रेडी आई नीड टू यूज हियर एक्सटेंड पीवर एक्सटेंड्स देन व्हाट इज आवर ऑफस्टार्ट क्लास सो टेस्ट लुक गाइस टेस्ट क्लास इज रेडी बट इट्स टेलिंग समथिंग व्हाट इज दैट सो इट्स टेलिंग to implement super constructor super constructor means guys what under abstract class first thing guys you understand constructor design so i told no abstract class doesn't create object but abstract class can create constructor what is the use of to creating constructor because guys remember because in abstract class whatever instance variable is there no that variable initialization purpose we create constructor but this constructor we directly not assign object because abstract class not allowing to create object right this point that's clear okay then look here so this constructor already created so here i need to create super class constructor accessing here okay for that guys here under our test class okay under our test class whatever constructor is there no under super class i need to pass this one then it will be okay then it will be access otherwise because guys by using okay by using main okay by using main so i need to initializing this test class object we cannot create object directly test class no so indirectly by using its child we need to initializing that one so look guys so how to designing here super constructor look let's so i am creating constructor for main class so how will creating constructor for main class so we directly we are creating like this public okay then main okay because our class name is main so i took this one then after that i am passing that uh, Variable name. Let's previously what is the variable is there, guys? So previously what instant variable name is b. Okay. So I just go there directly copy there. Then I go main class under main class. I am putting this one. Our variable is ready or not? Okay. Variable is currently ready. Let me create. So just go here. Then guys, one. सुपर क्लास कंस्ट्रक्टर पर्पज ओके कंस्ट्रक्टर कलिंग पर्पज वन क्यूआर वेर यूजिंग ओके दैट इज सुपर के सुपर ओके सुपर देन अंडर सुपर ओनि टू स्टार्ट पारासिटिस देन गैज व्हाट एवर वेरिएबल इज देयर सो ओनि टू पास दिस वन ओके अंडर ओनि टू पास दिस वन ओके लुक गैज सो आर कंस्ट्रक्टर इज रेडी by using these things we can initializing above things let me currently guys i'm 
I'm here uh, that is committing that obstruct method because they are telling indirectly to implement there. So no worry. So here it's ready or not. The obstruct method is ready or not. Ready? So let me guess. So I need to access. No worry. Forget about that uh, method. Okay. Obstruct, non obstruct method. Forget about. I commented these things. Okay. I commented this thing. Forget about. So just understand that. Uh, uh, Access part about variable and initialize part about variable. Okay, guys. So here I define all those variable, but in main class after extending also, if I try to create object, it's not creating object. Look, it's not creating object because of obstruct class. Okay, so let's guess how to create object. So by using this main class object okay by using this main class object we can access because guys look here static member static member not required to create uh, not required to object let me access first first static member okay start starting member what is the starting member is there under obstruct class the starting member is nothing so starting member is there a and final member is xyz okay guys so let's so currently here is not initializing okay starting member is not initializing okay first i try to initializing here okay by using here so let's a equal to i pass i pass a equal to let's 100 is it okay if i passing a equal to 100 let's i printing a here its output will come in because guys look why its output is coming you all are know that is static member static member not required to create any object we can call directly so first of all this point is what this point is whatever variable is there in static variable i can initializing these things then after that this one printing okay then guys one more point okay one more point i need to create object object is not possible directly by using obstruct class so here by using main class okay it's child class Obstruct class is a parent class, but a main class is child class. By using main class object reference, we can call that instance method. Okay, guys. So let me create. So main. Main. Okay. Main. OBJ. Let's new. New main. Okay. Main OBJ. Let's new main. It's not allowing. Okay, guys. It's not allowing. Yes or no? because i created here constructor okay it means we need to pass we need to pass its argument okay let's i'm passing here that uh, argument is 10 okay look as so then our object is ready okay then guys i need to call that instance member in test class how will calling so i directly calling like this let sys out okay sys out obj obj dot what obj dot name okay that is final member then one more each but one more each sys out then what is that obj sorry obj dot c c or what what is that uh, yeah b b that's b guys okay b look it's creating or not then after that what happened then after that if i try to run look all the things all the things is access or not obstruct member obstruct class all those things is it access or not here i initialize their 100 then after that a final variable already initialized xyz then instance variable throw constructor i initialize okay then if i try to print all those things output will be coming like this okay guys so let's me create okay let me create what okay so let me create here that is the uh, uh, obstruct method and implementation method so guys remember obstruct method and implementation method i already defined there okay i already defined just comment out okay so 
obstruct method and implementation method I already defined so just I need to remove this one so it's not removing I think some space gap is there okay so keyboard issue maybe it's not reminding by a shortcut okay so look guys so this is our obstruct method and this is implementation method you all are know guys so how to access if you are creating obstruct method in, under its implementation class we need to override this method because override means we need to providing its implementation body of this method let's guys look here obstruct method is defined but in under main class it's defining it's telling it's some issue is there why issue is there because obstruct method they are defining their test class is inherited but we are not implemented now for that guys i need to implement that obstruct method here so how i need to implement just i go here directly copy our obstruct method so I, then after that i came here in main class then i paste here okay under pasting main class so then i am writing and providing here implementation body yes or no guys so i am providing implementation body so anything guys okay then if i remove okay if i remove that uh obstruct method obstruct you are then it's allowing okay if i putting okay if i putting obstruct you are look it's also not allowing yes or no so it will be directly explicitly telling explicitly telling it's not allowed it's an obstruct method so when we are providing that implementation so in that time we should be remove that obstruct keyword okay guys so then i need to providing here any logic okay guys so this out i need to providing any logic so what is that so it is it is obstruct okay it is obstruct in impl impl method so it is obstruct only only you are putting it is obstruct okay it is obstruct like this this thing anything else you can pass your knowing purpose okay then i try to get access this one look so how will access this one by using object reference obz dot m1 if i passing m1 then we can access this one then obj dot if i passing m2 okay then you can access this one let's guess then i want to printing these things look then output is coming so it is your obstruct then it is your obstruct impl obstruct impl is defined here okay so so all are clear or not guys any doubt clear or not so this is all about that obstruct class okay so i already told so obstruct class so obstruct class one more point is remaining guys that is not supporting multiple inheritance okay guys it's also true not supporting multiple inheritance multiple inheritance means guess what so here what happened no? here we need to create one more separate class let me i'm creating two class like okay so like test one test class is there like test one okay under test one let me represent so here let me represent uh, int a equal to no i'm directly find a static okay static a static okay int a equal to 10 okay one variable is there so i need to inherit it okay i need to inherit our test class okay so i need to do extend here okay test one look guys it's allowed it means inheritance also obstruct class possible then i need to test multiple inheritance is possible or not multiple inheritance purpose so what will do so i need to create one more test class just dummy purpose i'm creating that is test two 
okay test two under test two i need to define one variable that is static int okay static int d okay anything guys just understanding purpose i'm telling just to giving purpose that multiple irrelevant support or not that's why i'm telling okay so let's i need to uh, i need to extend here multiple inheritance means what after test one so i need to passing one more test okay test two look here that's not possible because java class of java class multiple inheritance not allowed obstacle class also same obstacle class also multiple inheritance not allowed okay guys so everything is okay so whatever point i discuss okay whatever point i discuss in theory all those point remember all those points all the test cases i cover so what is that obstacle class how to create then obstacle class allow static non static final variable then it's allow to create constructor but it doesn't allow to uh, create object it's allow to uh, both obstruct and non obstruct method it's allow inheritance i'll show it's it doesn't add up multiple inheritance yes or no so all those point i covered guys up to this anybody any doubt please confirm okay please confirm otherwise i'll proceed for interface okay please confirm guys if anybody any doubt anybody any doubt guys okay so if you remove the constructor from both classes okay and we can create an object of the main class directly without passing the argument of constructor you can create main constructor but uh, in that time that uh, instance member no that child class the super class instance member will not initialize only in that time what will access on the only inst uh, other other things will access but instance things will not access okay but if you want to create that uh, uh, default constructor zero param constructor it's allow so no, if you want to remove and if if you want to override also it's allow okay but uh, that uh, instance member you will not initialize super class instance member okay you will not initialize okay got it any doubt please confirm guys so then i'll proceed that interface concept all are clear or any doubt guys please confirm so multi level inheritance allows for obstacle class and we can achieve multiple inheritance with interface yes yes so multi level inheritance we can achieve obstacle class but multiple inheritance will not achieve obstacle class but in case of interface it's both are achieved so like multi level also achieve multi pool also achieve in case of interface okay others all are clear or any doubt please confirm if you clear then i'll proceed next okay if you're not telling means by default yes all are clear okay so let me proceed so obstacle class things also allow let me just copy your example and pasting there for that actually you people get more clarity okay this is our test class okay this is our test class control a control c just i need to paste your note okay abstract class example 
ओके दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट वन ऑक्सटा क्लास ओके देन वन मोर इज टेस्ट क्लास इज देयर सो दैट इज मेन वन मेन वन इज आवर टेस्ट क्लास ओके सो देन व्हाट हैपन देन आई नीड टू प्रिंटिंग आल्सो दिस मेन क्लास आल्सो ओके ओके गाइस सो देन आवर ऑल नोट इज आल्सो रेडी अबाउट ऑस्टा क्लास देन आई विल स्टार्ट हियर इंटरफेस गाइस इंटरफेस जस्ट अल्टरनेट ऑफ ऑस्टा क्लास मच ऑफ द थिंग इज अल्टरनेट ओके so let's we are discussing here interface okay guys so we need to discuss here what interface okay so interface what is interface guys okay so same thing same old thing always because guys remember always obstacle class and interface is alternate its different okay so it is also one interview question okay very very important interview question there uh, interviewer will asking any time okay this question or uh, what is the difference between obstacle class and interface so guys whatever point i wrote here okay whatever point i wrote here it's exact difference point okay exact difference point i am writing there so just look okay then also in that time when you explain that uh, difference no so in that time also you can say this one and this one then that people get more clarity also okay so let me create okay let me explain here so first thing is interface by using interface qr okay by using interface qr we are creating interface okay first point is guys you can write here by using by using interface interface qr qr we are creating we are creating we are creating interface okay by using interface qr we are creating interface okay first point is ready then second point second point what is that second point is guys remember okay i little bit font little bit more okay so second point is what second point is interface allow only public static final variable but not allow that is non final and non static variable remember it's exact it's op opposite point okay interface interface allow only public okay only public final okay public final static okay variable so everything guys you know public final variable what is static variable what is all those things you know okay public final static variable but okay but not allow not allow what is that non static okay non static and non final okay non static and non final variable okay Yes or no? Then one more point. What is that? Its opposite point. Look. Then its opposite point is. It's allowed to create constructor. It's doesn't allow to create object. Okay. It's exact. Its opposite point. I'm telling here. What is that? It's not allow. Allow to create. constructor okay it's not allowed to create constructor this is the one point okay then then guys one more point okay it's not allowed to create constructor then one more point also it's not allow 
to create object okay it's not allowed to create object okay guys exact difference point then one more point okay one more point it's it's only allow only allow abstract method okay it's only allow abstract method but not allow not allow implementation method son method okay it's only allow abstract method but not allow implementation method okay then one more point guys then one from java it onwards some more features are coming okay some more features are added uh, under uh, interface no worry that things i will tell when i explain java it okay but up to now just understand this much whatever things i told okay this point is ready then what is that one more point is it support inheritance also yes or no guys it support also inheritance it support support inheritance inheritance it support inheritance also it support what is that also it support multiple inheritance okay also it support support multiple inheritance full inheritance okay guys our point is ready look yes or no whatever point i explain under abstract class same point i explain here okay so if somebody asking so guys so please tell me what is the difference between abstract class and interface so in that time you can easily explain because exact opposite point exact opposite point i wrote there okay so guys let's me represent this interface as a in programmatically okay so let me test one by one let me create one by one okay so let me go to my id okay so let's guess so i'm creating here under obstruction there i'm creating one more package okay for interface explanation purpose i'm creating one more package okay you can if you want to want same package also you can defend but just clarity purpose i'm i'm creating here one more package just right click same so same thing i'm creating here so just i'm creating its child package it's better then this thing also you get clarity little bit idea also you get so how to create child package so just right click this package look if i creating child package how will be creating so just right click existing package then new then package look if a child package creating already parent package is available okay then i'm adding here one more in name okay one more name software engineer building software engineer builder then what class okay software engineer builder class i am adding then my package name this one okay like this we are creating child package okay no worry if you want to guys in same package also you can create but just more clarity purpose i'm exp i'm creating here child package okay so one by one little bit we need to go forward no so that's why okay guys so here i need to defining just right click our child package so i need to defining here interface so look so i need to define here interface my interface name is so uh, let's test intro okay i need to defining my interface name is test intro okay assume my interface name is this one yes or no guys 
then second point the interface first point is what interface created by using interface keyword yes or no all are clear this is our first point then uh, what is our second point so second point is interface allow okay interface allow only what only static a final public variable but not allow non static and non final variable look guys so i am creating here then i am explaining also its test cases one by one let's i am creating here interface allow only static final so as per our uh, test cases instruction so i need to creating here so like this public okay static int a okay if i defining like this but it's not allow look here it's not allow why it's not allow we cannot defining okay we cannot defining like this every time if you are defining any okay guys if you are defining any instance where sorry any static variable also all that variable internally is public static final variable okay so it means we cannot assign okay in cannot be resolved type sorry 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 guys sorry it's not miss i miss is in okay look what is telling what is our instruction telling the blank final field or may not be initialized okay because i told guys as per our instruction what i told interface allow only public static final variable okay not allow instance variable not allow non final variable so if i defining like this okay if i defining like this look in case of okay same thing guys look in case of our text class forget about interface in case look this is the difference look here under interface i define same variable so public static int a i define or not same variable i define but in case of test look here i define same variable public static int here i define same variable it's allow it's not having any issue yes or no look at our obstruct class under obstruct class if i defining that things it's not having any issue but in case of our interface if same variable same variable if i defining here but it's telling some issue is there yes or no left side issue is there because what is the issue i put it there my field as a empty field so i am not initializing so it means guys find uh, you know one thing final variable okay final variable whatever variable is final so every time you should be initialize that one okay so let's guys if i initializing this variable then that error is gone look the error is gone yes or no guys so it means whatever variable are present under interface so every variable is public static final variable if you are not using also guys if you are not using also this final keyword but it is counted as a final because that is the beauty of inheritance okay this thing is ready okay guys so let me create okay for interface purpose let me create under my child package let me create one more our test classes okay so just uh, i need to create here one more test classes so let me create then also i am adding here one by one our uh, uh, non static and uh, non final and final variable okay so um, for testing purpose i'm just before that i'm just creating its class okay let's my class is what is that let it example okay so my class is example from example class i am inheriting my uh, interface so you know how to inheriting from, from uh, how to inheriting a class from an interface in that time you know all are know so in that time we need to using implement keyword okay implements our interface name is test i n t r yes or no guys so our interface is currently ready okay then guys let me create okay 
let me create main method here okay let me create here main method okay public static main method okay our main method is currently ready yes yes or no forget about our stack class guys freshly think that uh, uh, interface okay so currently our test interface is ready test interface first point is what so by using interface keyword we can create interface second case is what is the interface allow only static public static final variable it means i told here if i remove initialization it's giving issue because if you are defining variable as final so it means at the time of creation we should be initialized that one okay so let me access this this variable directly also you can access no that is static variable okay static variable purpose no need to create object so directly you can guys access so how will access so directly if you are accessing a okay guys let's it will be printing okay let's it will be printing a yes or no it's 10 is coming that is interface value under interface I'm calling this one under our implementation class. Okay, let me guess. I'm adding final variable. Okay, it's also allow as per our uh, instruction, as per our test classes. It's also allow final variable. So for that, actually, what I'll do for that, actually, I just create one more final variable. What is that? Public. Okay, final. Okay, public final. So string public final string name. Okay, public final string name. So if I creating like this public final string name, then look if I'm not initializing, it's giving issue because this variable is finalized. Sorry, final variable. You should be provide some value. You should be assigning here some value. For that, I need to assigning value. So my value name is passing my name is passing okay rajesh is it okay so my final variable is ready okay i'm not using here static let me access here let me printing here this up so a sorry not a that is name look then i try to run look guys so previously also what is the difference look previously also final variable access purpose we need to create object okay but in obstacle class look it is also act as a static yes or no i am not using under this variable any static you are but this variable act as a static why why i i thought act as a static because guys Look, static member uh, accessing purpose. Okay, static member accessing purpose not required to create any object. So look, so here I directly call. I, I directly call this number. Then it will be calling. Then it will be also I'm getting its output. If I run also, it will be also getting our output. Okay, yes or no? So it means catch what? If you are writing any static or uh, final variable, any static or non-static variable, it will be every variable act as a what? Act as a our public static final variable. Let's guys, I create here instance variable. Instance variable guys not allow in uh, interface. But look, look this test case. It will be unavailable. Okay. It is the beauty of interface one thing you new thing you look here so what this is things so we need to creating public okay instance variable purpose guys i'm not using any static you are right so let i'm creating here int c okay int c equal to int c look here if i creating like this it's also giving issue because what is that issue final it's also internally counted as a final okay it means it is there telling it is as a final variable you should be assigned some value let's i if i assigning some value like 7 
ओके लाइक सेवन हंड्रेड लेट आई एज्यूम आई एसाइन सब वैल्यू ओके बट आई ट्राई टू एक्सेस हियर ओके आई ट्राई टू दिस इज इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल इंस्टेंट डिक्लेयर इज पॉसिबल गैस डिक्लेयर इज पॉसिबल हियर बट लेट्स आई ट्राई टू एक्सेस दिस वेरिएबल इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल परपज गैस प्रीवियसली व्हाट यू नो विदाउट ऑब्जेक्ट इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल वी कैन एक्सेस सो लेट मी एक्सेस हियर इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल डायरेक्टली ओके We need to access C. Look, guys, C is currently accessing, not giving any issue. Let me run here. If I run also, look, its output is also coming. So it means, guys, what? What is this things happening in internally our interface? This is your confusion thing, no? No confusion, guys. One point I am always telling. Okay, don't confuse. Okay, one point I am always telling. What is that? That point is. Every variable, whatever variable you define, if you write static, if you not write static, if you write final, if you not write non, if you not write final, if you write instance or if you not write instance, that's not problem. So every time, every time, every variable internally counted as a what is that? Internally counted as a public, public static final, public. Static final because look guys for public purpose I accessing this variable everywhere so static purpose guys what static purpose we are not creating object every variable purpose we are not creating object then final purpose what guys at the time of variable creation we should be must provide its implementation okay guys so it's also all description I also provided. I also all example also I also proved yes or no all those things I proved also here okay then one more point what guys so what is that uh, next point as per our things so that next point is first point is cover guys okay okay first point is cover okay then guys. One minute. I have one call. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh, I will after uh, ten minutes. I'll call you. I'm one call. Okay, minute. Okay, sure. Okay, guys. So look here. Our first point. Okay. Our our first point is ready. How to create interface? Second point is it's allow what is variable. I also it's proving. Then third point, I try to create its constructor and I try to create its object. It's allow or not? Let me check. Okay. So let me check. I try to create its constructor for interface. Is it possible or not? Guys, look. So let me create constructor. How will creating? We just adding here public keyword. Okay. Public. Then we just class purpose. What we do? We just copy these things. Okay, you just copy this thing. Then doing like this. So you need to adding this thing like this. Look here. It's giving issue. It means constructor is not allowed. What's telling? Interface cannot have constructor. It's telling no. Interface cannot have constructor. Yes or no, guys? So it means you prove no interface. Can no by using interface you cannot create constructor. All those test cases also I proved here no. Yes or no guys? Okay. So these things also I proved. Okay. Then guys one more thing for interface. Okay. For interface I already implemented this class. Okay. Let me create its object. Okay. Interface object. Is it possible or not guys? If I creating interface object. Is it possible or not? So I just copy C interface name. It's not possible. Okay, idea. Can let anything. Let then paste paste again. Look, what is the issue? Look, interface cannot create. Cannot instantiate. Okay. Cannot uh, instantiation. Okay. Cannot instantiate here. The type. Test I I N D S. Okay, it means interface. Okay, it means interface. We cannot create object. This point also gets you proof. 
okay then one more point one more point is inheritance relation guys inheritance relation you know here it means it's implemented means it is be inheritance relation let me inherit okay let me inherit our interface i create here two interface i'm checking here it support multiple inheritance or not okay let me create this is our interface let me copy my interface name otherwise any name you can copy okay otherwise any name you can copy i just go here my shop package just i creating file new okay then interface so i am creating my interface uh, test intr1 okay test intr1 so let me create okay guys look here so currently my interface is ready yes or no okay under my interface so i am defining one variable okay any variable i am defining here so let's under my interface i am defining one variable that is public okay public okay static public static int okay public static int b i am assigning 10 okay anything else not issue okay then in case of second okay i am creating one more interface also here so just right click new just I am creating one more interface. I am passing here my int test int here. I am passing two. Okay. If I am passing two, any name you can put. Okay. Look then. Then second interface also ready. Okay. So let me. We need to creating one more variable. Okay. Public. Okay. Public. That is static. Okay. We need to assigning here int. Okay, public static int variable name we need to passing e we need to passing here 30. Okay, guys, anything if I passing 30, look so our variable also ready. Let me inherit our interface. Okay, so just I go here. This example guy already provide. I already provide provided this example when I discuss abstraction for more clarity purpose. One second also this example I provide okay you already know this concept let's i need to interface to interface how to how will derive it by using extend keyword okay by using extend keyword we need to deriving so what is that test one this test one interface is one there no so it's also deriving it's also possible it means the interface allow that multi-level inheritance okay let me check guys interface allow multiple inheritance or not so multiple inheritance purpose what is multiple inheritance means at a time at a time we are extending more than one interface okay that is called multi uh, multiple inheritance okay let me i putting here comma okay then i am passing our second interface i just go here okay just my just i copy my interface name okay then i go here my main interface okay after comma i put that interface look guys after putting also look it will be accessing or not okay it will be all those properties everything it's accessing node or not at a time we are extending more than two interface no it means the interface you know that multiple inheritance okay guys look what point i discuss First point cover, second point cover, third point cover, fourth point cover, fifth point cover. Okay. Fifth point. One more point is guys remaining. That is what is the obstruct? Obstruct and the implementation. I am not defining maybe. Okay. Let me create. That is that point also cover. That is support a multi support inheritance and also support multiple inheritance. This also cover. Then one remaining point is there. What is that? That is obstruct method. Let me do one thing okay let me test that point also okay so let's guess one interface is there our so let me define what interface content in in case of method interface content only abstract method not content implementation method but abstract class content both abstract and non abstract method okay so let's i'm creating here okay let's i'm creating here our what 
our interface sorry our method concept so interface only contain abstract method so we need to prove this one public void okay public void m4 okay one method is there that is m4 assume look this is abstract method it's allowed it's not having any issue yes or no then one more thing this thing is allowed but interface doesn't allow implementation method let me create one more method which contain implementation body public void okay m5 okay if i creating implementation body so sys out okay implementation body if i creating okay look here if i creating like this hey hi look it is a implementation method look yes or no it is a implementation method look this implementation method is not allowed interface it's giving issue what is that issue abstract method do not specify a body it means what they are telling directly it means they are telling so interface allow only abstract method not allow implementation method okay this point also proof let me let me access this abstract method abstract method purpose what will do if you want to creating abstract method parent class so we need to okay we need to implement this method in child look just i copy my method name okay just i go here my child class okay look what i am telling if i am not implementing what i am telling the type example must implement inheritor abstract method that that is test enter dot m4 okay guys remember always remember one thing if parent class contain any abstract method if you want to inheriting in child class that child class should be implement that abstract method otherwise you will getting issue look like this issue you will getting so if i inheriting that one okay if i inheriting sorry if i inheriting that one so let like this we need to providing implementation body yes out okay so it is inherited it is inherited inherited method okay if i inherited that, that one look that issue is gone yes or no by using its object we can call also directly okay so what is that we need to calling example okay example e okay equal to new example okay example e equal to new example let's we need to access that one that is m4 okay so if i access that m4 then after that if i try to run then what output will come look here look its output is coming inherited method it means guys now i cover all the okay now i cover all the point about abstraction and inheritance whatever point i discuss about abstraction and inheritance okay all those point i cover i think guys you are very clear on that okay so then anybody any doubt please confirm okay if currently anybody facing any doubt please confirm okay so this is the this is the class for today so okay let me okay let me stop my recording then i will clear, uh, then i will telling okay one minutes guys please keep on hold